Next segment that we're getting into is the fight reaction between uh, Devin Haney versus Alfredo Santiago. Last night, did you catch that fight, G? What you think? Yeah, um, I'll say this. Sh- shout out to Santiago and shout out to all the Dominicans out there. You know, like uh, he he actually was an impressive fighter. Um, I, obviously, Haney won, you know, clearly. But he uh, Santiago did impress me a lot with uh, his movement. But however, I will say this. The, the commission's got to do something about uh, boxing shorts, right? Because he kept crying saying, you know, low blows, low blows. I'm like, bro, your belt was OD huge, <laughs> you know? And so if we can't see your belly button, it is what it is, right? And even when the commentators were talking about some of David Haney's uh, punches saying, oh, yeah, those are low. I'm like, How can they you showed him <laughs> like slow in slow motion. He's still punching the belt. So I'm yeah. like, I feel like just like they regulate gloves, they should regulate shorts. Like you can't wear something like that's that because the the belt was just too long. So minimize the belt or pull it down some so we can see your belly button. So that way there's no uh, you know issues with um, I guess your 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 design of your outfit or whatever. Because David Haney to me was those were clean shots. But he just kept complaining about low blows, low blows, low blows. But other than that, I felt like David Haney, for the most part, I won't say he won, he won every round. It was probably like two <laughs> rounds. I, I could be like, all right, you know, uh, Santiago got that. But with, uh, with regardless of the, the, the low shots, I still was impressed by uh, Santiago. I feel like just because he lost to um, Haney doesn't mean his career is over. Um, especially just having that platform to fight in front of all of these people, I feel like it's a good look. He should utilize that. But if y'all notice, every time he's in the corner, he looked like he wanted to quit. Yo, <laughs> he looked like he, he he was his eyes were glossy, red. He looked like he was taking some punishment. So shout out to Haney. You know, clearly he's a star in the um, in the sport. You know, I would love to see Haney versus uh, Ryan Garcia. Yo, DAZN, make that happen, man. That's going to be a, a nice super fight. And I feel like especially maintaining the momentum from this event, you can make these two young stars. It could be the next, you know, Mayweather versus Oscar De La Hoya. You know, it could be like that huge. So, yeah, shout out to David Haney and his victory. First off, I want to say shout out to Costa Mia Restaurant for serving up some bomb Alfredo for my boy Haney. <laughs> Yo. Santiago, um, Alfredo Santiago. <laughs> <laughs> Alfredo Santiago did his thing, but you know, he didn't really. It looked like he didn't. He didn't do come out as I expected. I thought he was gonna do. Um, Haney came was throwing punches, great defense, was connecting, was dominating the entire fight. You know, they gave Santiago a couple rounds, but we all saw. We, if you rewatch the fight, I'd just say it was a. All 12 with Haney, but it was still a good fight. Good, congrats to Haney for defending his title, and he's still the champion, you know, so, yeah. Um, for the first defense of um, Devin Haney's um, title. Uh, if you want to call it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's his. Because <laughs> Devin Haney still, he deserves it. He worked really hard. Um, he just didn't get to uh, winning in the ring. Like he would like to have. Um, but we're going to talk about that on another segment. It's just a couple of notes I took down. Santiago was tough. He was tough. And he was an undefeated fighter. And he came in there like an undefeated fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, he was complaining about a, a, a lot of body shots. That's because he was getting hurt and he was getting bro- broken yeah. down. Um, a lot of things that I noticed, like um, I wanted to shout out to uh, Devin Haney's father. He was telling Devin Haney exactly what he needed to do in there. Usually, sometimes fathers are not good to have in corners, and uh, and he wasn't. I've been seeing a lot of motivation going on with a lot of trainers, and not a lot of training going and telling what they need to be doing in there. And um, I seen Devin Haney's father locked in every round, telling him exactly what he needed to do in that fight. So shout outs to um, Devin Haney's father. Um, one thing I did notice, I can't believe that the referee allowed so much holding from Santiago. I thought that that was... Oh, a, man, don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, the refs, all three refs last night had me. Yeah. Oh. It was just a lot. It was like 
it, he was just jumping in the hold. He was just holding Devin Haney ever. It, I don't know how uh, Devin Haney was able to uh, hold his composure through all that holding. And uh, the, it was a lot of comparison to um, Floyd Mayweather last night when Devin Haney was was fighting. And um, I don't when when people compare Devin Haney to Floyd, um, I think they compare the Devin Haney to money Mayweather. Because Devin Haney reminds me of a money Mayweather. He doesn't remind me of a pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Those are two different fighters. Pretty boy Floyd fought at 130, 135. Money Mayweather was 147, 154. Mm -hmm. Floyd was pretty boy during 130, 135, and 140. Until he started having the, the hand problems and all that. Floyd was a different fighter. He was coming forward. He was so fast. He was putting people on their behinds. They was talking about another fight that happened with another star that was at 135 at the time. Diego Corrales. Dropped Diego Corrales, who was the most feared guy in that division at the time. Like five, five times with left hooks. Um, people like to compare Devin Haney. To Floyd, but I want to let people know they're comparing him to Money Mayweather. I don't think they're comparing him to the pretty boy Floyd Mayweather because there's two different type of fighters. But Devin Haney, to me, I think he's sensational. I got Devin Haney for the next 10 years. Um, the the fight between, yeah, because he's only 20. Yeah. He's only 20. I, got I got him for the next 10 years. I got him until he's around. Right. I say that. I think Devin Haney is special. And I, I got him for the next 10 years. That's just my opinion. And the fight with him and Ryan, people were saying it can happen. Or they both were saying it can happen in 2021. Mm, that's going to be that's gonna be we'll, some fireworks. We'll, we'll see because I don't yeah. see Devin Haney sticking around this weight class for that that's long. Too, yeah. I see that him moving up to 140 eventually. Yeah, but I, best believe this is going to happen. The zone's going to be like, yo, listen, we need this fight. Make it happen, and then they're gonna make it happen. Yeah, so. we'll see. You know me. I've, I, I've, yeah, I've, I don't. I know how these guys are. They're gonna, you know, De La Hoya and Golda Boy is gonna try to keep his star a star for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, we might want to see these fights, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. you know, the chances of them happen are really, really slim. That's just my opinion. But please, let us know what you think. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's the Boxing Bros.